have we here? A delivery from Summerfold Farms is scheduled? Huh. There is a first time for everything. Oh, now that sack really shrank. Well, look at that. Not a single one missing either. About the only things not here are those bagmen, and I don't miss them one bit. Here's servant's payment in full. With you, I can trust it to reach you. Why is everybody so trusty of me? I didn't do anything to deserve their trust. Yes, I would use my ether right to get to teleport. That's the best use for them right now anyway, because later on you cannot be so poor that you cannot teleport. Like, it's practically impossible. One dungeon will buy you, like, 30 teleports. Well, at least it will buy me 30 teleports, because as a tank I will get special dungeon privileges. Back in one piece! That's a relief. How did you fare, Munchikus? Here's your money. Ah, this is what I was aiming for. Looks to be all I was owned, all right. Though I'd be telling you false if I claimed I had not held out more hope for Servant. I was even willing to overlook the skimming off the top, but to sell a short in favor of those godforsaken goblins? Sigh. You'd do well to mind yourself around those two, Gilcheat. If he leave his, leave his own mates for dead, there's no telling what he would do to you. Probably some fun time. Yeah, I think I'll take a new weapon. Now I can equip said new weapon. That's actually a great ability. It restores your health with hits. I like it. How about that? You've already done more than the whole lot of swathful sea slugs combined. If only they spent half as much time proving their worth as they do talking about it. Hooray, more quests from you guys. Yeah, I do well to go with gloves. Uh, Gherkin seeks the fertile soil to improve the yields of his newly plowed fields. Blast! At this rate, the crops will never be ready for harvest. If only we had the black loam, just a bit sender stalks soaring. I bet f f bit the th <laughs> knows where you might find some. Perhaps you will pay her a visit to the orchard. Hello. Farming is an exciting business. Cockards go ahead of cabbage if he thinks I'm fetching him any black foam. But if you dare to pinch some from the cook pot, then be my guest. Just mind you don't get trampled upon the ear of the twelve there. Once three bushels worth, take the black foam to dead dead at Tiller's rest. He'll know what to do. Okay, this is the again. Okay, let's see. Well, it, takes, it takes like 120 hours to even get like through main scenario properly like I think people say something like 100 hours before Heaven Sword. So that is a lot of streaming. <laughs> By the time we'll hit Stormblood, Stormblood will probably be in the patch like 3.4 and then I'll catch up with the full story at the end of it. So yay! Yeah, we're, we're in for the long haul, go folks, but I do really, really like this game. Okay, time to take it to Tiller's rest. Yes. <laughs> hey kitty cat! Hi! You ready? Yeah, I think it's a Oh, if you do, where did you end it? Like 3.5, 3.4? Because last time I had was like an hour. So sorry, it's not that much. 
<laughs> Yay, long wall for the win. I hope. I hope that like six months in, I'm not sitting here with just like birds chirping like, you know, in an empty chat room going, oh god, I wish I had people. It's really nice right now though because you guys are here and this is really fun. Ah, even the weeds wither and die in this desolate dirt. There you go. But that will wall. But a bit of this black foam ought to change all of that. I haven't seen any in ages. Gathering black films not for the week of will, nor of the week of stomach, eh? Ha ha! Did I pick up the poop of those things? Because I think that's what it is. Oh, don't tell me Gurchant and Rowena neglected to mention where black film comes from. Well, surely you figured it out, out on your own from the cloying stench. It comes from Aura's lair of all places. So yeah, it comes from poop. It's poop. Boop. Um, well, why dwell on who misled whom about what? What matters is that your efforts have brought us black plum, and we can ex expect a bountiful harvest as a result. Thank you. Somebody dismounted right behind me. I'll take these gloves. Yes. Oh, you quit at that time thing, you didn't you have a bat left three hours. Not that much. I think you can handle three hours before stone blood and arba. Eh, my face so itchy. Why is my face so itchy? There need stolen farm tools recovered. I should always start in Limsa. People have such nice names. Confounded pirates! They knew nothing of tilling, only killing, stealing, or shovels to melt and forge into axes of all things. They're biting the hand that feeds them, the mangy mongrels. Love to teach those girls a lesson in obedience myself if I hadn't sworn to Stormin that I wouldn't fight no more. So I need you to bring back our farm tools and make sure those dogs reap what they sow. Okay! Go and kick the ship. Yeah, that's the person that dismounted in front of me. He dismounted from Odin Horse, which you have to buy from the store. So he's like a dumbass that's spending money in pay to play game. But then again, I'm a dumbass spending money in pay to play game. Because I got the friggin... How is it called? Oh yeah, the Moogle mount. But who doesn't want to fly on a fat Moogle? Oh, this is a mistake. <laughs> Okay, 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 that's good. Here we go. You see, problem is that we're also on my hunting log, and I need one more of those grounded raiders. Let's don't walk away like that. That's just unfair. No. Leave me alone, I don't have a quarrel with you, I just want to kill your friend. Um, here we go. Okay, we're gonna ignore everything? Let's see if we can ignore everything for long enough to kill them. And then we run through. Leg it! Leg it! Leg it. Make it fast. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah. Oh, good to see the tools back and in serviceable condition, which will be more than we can say of our servant when we get our hands on him. Wench likely had a role in the theft. Spite him meeting the pirates in secret, I did. I couldn't care less if the Wastro won't work, but when he consorts with cut purses that take her tools away, he crossed the line. Stolvern ought to know what sort of scallywag he's dealing with. Take word to you uh, to him, will you? Okay. I heard a rumor that it's the other guy that you do not like that did this. Do you want me to go and kill the other guy? You do? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> 
over there in general. And we go like we can drop off and we get like a little level one tent. And it's like, tent is lucky. And it's like, cool. Watch it find the land of the other side of the house. Another land of the other side of the house. That's what it's in the light pirates. Okay, I mean, the old people have already invented the other swords. Pirates making off with our tools for every day did well not to take matters into his own hands. Last thing I need is blood on my crops. Because, you know, he would plant with the same same hands that he killed people with. I mean, he would wash himself. There is a river, you know. But I'll be damned if servant thinks he can take us for fools. His treachery won't go unpunished. Give me pants. Thank you. I like pants. Pants are good in general. I've come to expect a great deal from you. <laughs> There's now cat food on my table. There's a kitty here somewhere. Kitty! Kitty! <laughs> kitty! <laughs> there she is. Come here. In front of the camera. Good kitty. I've come to ex expect a great deal from you, lass, and you never once let me down. Now, yeah, what I ask of you now goes beyond what I've asked before, but you hear my plea all the same. You give me a helmet, so yes. It eases my mind to have your ear. You're no doubt familiar with the scoundrel's servant by now. Well, the scheming scapegrace is at it again. Since the letter came for him, he's been skulking about in that matter he does when he's up to no good. Now he's rounded up his rogues and buggered off with nary a word to anyone. I've grown accustomed to his insolence, but something tells me it's different. It ain't exactly damning, but what I last heard words with him he didn't look defiant so much as hunted. I can't help thinking he is done looking for trouble and found more than he wanted. So I was hoping you might hunt his sorry hide down and drag him back here before it's too late. Okay. The ungrateful little cur bites me every chance he gets, but I can't quite bring myself to cut him loose. I, I suppose he reminds me a bit of my younger self. Suffice it to say, I'd rather he didn't come to my... To a sticky end. As for how to find him, I'll try asking Gwivenda the to write. There she says she'll be able to tell you where he was headed. I hope it's a this sea to write. Yes, it is. So I don't want to go all the way to Limza to ask a person about where a person went. Hello? Hello! You, s you saw somebody go places? Nothing that passes through those gates escapes my notice. I saw the rouser and his rabble set for Boat Whisper Canyon not long ago, singing about drinking themselves stupider. Cheeky sod said I should join them. I told them I'd rather shivel up than sip whatever it was that they had picked for her brains. If you find the idle swine, be sure and give them a cup round the ear from me, will you? <laughs> no, either way, I'm like a tiny picture somewhere up there, so it doesn't matter. Of all the dirty, deceitful, downward, dastardly deeds, the slippery bastard's done. Yeah. That's, uh, I actually, on my main character, I even bought pads that look like exactly like 70s pads. They're glittery and they go like that. And I was made fun out of it for it, but I like those pads. Claiming to take the lads out for a drink only to lead us straight in the bloody trap. It don't get no lower than that. Of course I learned to stay a step ahead of old servants, so I was ready. But others weren't so lucky. You got to help, um... 
I got to help him! Seventy style is good style. Well, at least seventy style looks funny. Like, I think it's just because I'm living in today, but I think that people look more generic now than they did in like 70s, 80s when there was actual styles, even though they looked friggin' stupid, but still. I will pat your head. You should be all fine now. My axe may as well have been the white flag for all good it did. Hope you fare better of those sorry bastards and they're done for. Henchman, henchman, singing in the water. I will help you and I'll kill some people. Servant might have got us into this mess, but I ain't about to let him give the life for us. Sooner both to a fish back than to be in that Canadian bastard debt to arms. Yes. I read that in a very stupid manner because that's not how it was punctuated at all. But to arms! To arms! <laughs> a true knave. You betray even yourself, servant. Ugh. We were prepared to overlook the matter of your desertion and the condition that you provided us with suitable replacement. That was the agreement. Yet our latest change of heart leaves your debt to us unpaid. Few are they who betrayed the serpent reavers twice. You will not do a th so a third time. It is I, the mitten glove woman. Covering behind your protector will only delay the inevitable, honorless French. Your life is all you have left. And worthless to it may be, we shall take it. You have a rape face on. Oh no! That's the evil person. Look, he even gets the special text. It's like pink and stuff. O oh, mournful voice of creation, send on to me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, that I may smite mine enemies. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Death to all clay golems! <laughs> strong! Are you strong enough to withstand this? I can just move out of the way, you know. <laughs> Very circles and stuff. Impossible! The golem had been so sorely tested. Great! I would jump up, but the game doesn't let me. That manly chin. Well, yeah, I'm playing the role, you know. That. That the golem could be vanquished. That woman is no ordinary adventurer. Stare gone. Da da da. <laughs> I love this game. I do. I know it's really, really silly, but I really, really like this game. Sigh, the snake slithered away. I am only glad he did not have the chance to sink his fangs more deeply into you. My head. Visions of the past. We, we have them sometimes. 
We can't pretend that we're having them with convenience, but it's pretty random. Those pirates do not belong to any of the known laments and factions. Whom do they serve? The beast tribes? Surely not. But the timing of their appearance coincides all too neatly with the recent surge in Sahagin and Cobalt activity. Something is afoot. The question is, what? Hmm. Could it be that the tribes are planning to summon their primals? Twelve will help us if should prove so. Limsa would be hard pressed to keep a single primal at bay, let alone two. But all is yet speculation. I must needs find evidence. The seas continue to rise. While the lesser moon continues to fall. This is before the calamity, isn't it? Yeah, to sum up, the calamity was the end of 1.0 when they took the game into redevelopment. And it was essentially a bunch of bad guys brought the moon down onto the planet. And I think it was trying to hatch into like a giant primal being thing. But it was stopped. So that's why it's a moon in the first place. That's not a moon, that's a primal. And there is a raid about it. And yeah, there was like a huge boom. And a lot of land died. I'm great at explaining these things. And ilm by ilm, the world becomes even more unlike itself. It's as this the de de it is as Lois Sox foretold. The coming of chaos has rendered the laws of nature mutable, blurring the boundary between the mater material and ethereal planes. Little now stands between us and the primals. But they're not here yet. Though time be against us, hope shall ever be by our side. Never did the creed of Chalene ring more true. Make as much sense as they do. Well, yeah. Story is kind of well explained, but it, it takes a while to manifest and explain itself over time. Never did I dream that would possess the means to see ether. Yet now that I do, I do begin to take it for granted. How swiftly do the wonders of Charlayan seem commonplace. <laughs> Minfilia fantasy. Yeah, for the longest time you just helped this like damsel in distress. It just goes, oh! Go over there and do a thing and come back to me while I sit here doing nothing. But she's not present in Heaven's Word, so that's nice. Um, here's a flower. Here for you. Have you come for the festivities? Also, human child, you don't see those often. There is one Mikote child, though, and she's a quest giver, which is awesome. Today, the Maelstrom officially makes the Great Hall and the Sea its training ground. Join the celebrations! Wait! A disturbance in the etheric flow? But whence does it emanate? Sea song Grotto, perhaps? Ah, my head. What have we here? Can you walk? Oh, hello there! This I gr regrettably know. He eluded me. Understood. I will inf de de inform the Commodore. You 
you collapsed from your exertions. Are you suitably recovered? Servant here has apprised me of all that has transmitted. His account sheds some light upon how you come to be attacked by a golem of all things. Golem is a mindless automation. Inert save when commanded to be otherwise. Common pirates could not hope to control such a thing, so arcane in its workings. But then these tattooed wenches are no common pirates. They are the minions of the Sahagian. As to their purpose, well, I should get to the bottom of it. But first, I must escort Servin back to his place of employment. I dare say Servin will be wondering what has become of him. And you too, for that matter. I will bear word to him of your preservation, but I am certain he would like to thank you in person. Pray pay the man a visit. And he told me of you, but perchance he did not tell you of me. My name is Yishtola. I am a naturalist of sorts, surveying the ether in the hope that might offer up some clue to our predicament. I say I owed you my life, but that don't cover it. Were it for you, my friends would be dead and all. This is debt I can never repay, and I'm not to make things worse by running away. Take me to some of old farms, and I'll face the consequences. For reasons I cannot fathom, you seem... Forgive me. Mayhap we shall have the chance to speak again when we have marshaled our way thoughts. And to our paths next cross. Farewell. Music... Low! Oh, low. Low! I knew you return. You stole a delivered servant a bit ago. Tales of your heroic deeds precede you. The rest came shuffling back too, the lot of them spouting the same haunted expression. It's me who's to blame for that, that and the rest. I was once a serpent raven. A thrall to the Sahakin? Seven hells! Reavers may look and sound and act like pirates, but they're not what fishbacks flunkies. Us pirates ain't much for laws, but there's things we won't do. We got a code, see? But the reavers never followed the word of it. A few years back, they started snatching law abiding law abiding lemonsons. I only just taken in my oath when our captain bent the knee to his new Sahagin masters. I knew I had to get away. So I crept off one night, got myself a new name, and found myself a new home. Summerfold Farms. Trouble is, secrets don't stay secret for long round here. Word soon spread all the way back to the sea. The penalty for desertion is death, but the reavers offered me a way out instead. My freedom in exchange for my mates. The letter. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't bloody thinking. Too busy soiling myself. Hey, but you got there in the end, didn't you? When the time came, you made the right decision. The men say little to me, but I heard them talk of how you stood up to the rivers at last, and how you tried to give your life to save theirs. But that as it may, no deed, however good, can atone for the crime of betraying your brethren. I know that, I do. That's why I'm going to hand myself over to Yellow Jackets. I'll bring shame to the farm no more. Hmm, you hear no arguments from me. Each man must sail according to his own moral compass. I just hope yours guides you back here someday. There will always be a place for you at Summerfold, the dead Summerfold Farms, lad. And I'll always be in your debt still. I owe you a debt too, Magnanimous. Not once you let me down. Thank you for saving the men on my farm. If I could ask one more favor of you, it'd be this. Tell Baronon what happened from start to finish. Certainly you put a good word for Servin if he knew the whole story. And he's one of a few people I know who the Yellow Jackets listened to. Well, I reckoned I asked all I could possibly ask of you. Safe travels, lass. So yeah, when we start next time, 
and it will likely be next Friday. We're gonna start here and we're gonna teleport all the way back to Drowning Winch. I can actually do the teleportation right now. Um, yeah, so that's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining me on the stream because it would be so much more boring alone. 